Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to um, pull a, a Heroku repository or your, your app off, Ruby on Rails app off Heroku. Um, and this, the one I'm going to be dealing with isn't finished, uh, it's, it's in development still. It's called Template Browser and it's, it's, a really, it's going to be a really simple app that just displays different um, website templates for people to choose from. Uh, if, you, if you're running a, a web design company and you want to offer pre-made templates, um, then that's what this is for. Uh, nothing special, uh, I'm just using this as an example to show you how to actually get it off Heroku onto a new computer. You, and we're in Ubuntu, we're in Linux Ubuntu uh, 12.10. So if you go to heroku.com and log in, um, I'm assuming that you, you know what Heroku is and uh, maybe you're looking for a tutorial to actually do what, what I'm going to do, grab the app. Um, and I'm also assuming that you have Rails installed and everything's already set up. Um, this particular app uses a PostgreSQL database. Um, so I'm just going to log in here. And you see I have three apps here in my account. Uh, this is the one we're going to be dealing with, Template Browser. And we can go to Settings. And I actually have a, a URL, I mean a, a top level domain pointing to this, which is um, templatebrowser.net. Uh, but I'm going to open up the Heroku, the subdomain. You can use either. Okay, so you'll see uh, there's not much to this. <laughs> it's pretty much just a, a shell. Um, I do have a database with category fields as well as um, templates. So each template can have a category. Uh, they'll be able to click on general and see all the general templates and then maybe um, technology templates. So it's really a work in progress. Uh, this isn't really about the app though. It's about how to get it onto your um, local machine. So what we want to do is open up a shell prompt. Now, you don't want to create the actual folder. Um, if we just go and see what's in my home directory, um, I don't have the folder here um, because Heroku will actually pull the entire thing and put it in our home directory. So the first thing we want to do is we want to install um, the Heroku gem. Now I'm assuming you have Ruby gems and, and everything all set up on your on your computer. So let's install the gem. All right, so the gem is installed. Uh, now what I want to do is just run bundle install. Uh, actually, no, we don't want to run bundle install. So now we want to get uh, Heroku Tool Belt, which is an, a, a great application that will give us um, Git functionality, uh, as well as some other stuff that that is required for us to, to do this. So we want to do a, a wget and a, we want to do q. And O. Uh, yeah, Q and capital O tags. Um, and then we want the URL for um, the tool belt, which is toolbelt.heroku.com um, slash install Ubuntu um, sh. sh. So that should get it for us. This could just take a minute. <laughs> and you can also download Toolbelt for Windows if you want to use Windows. Um, but I really suggest a Linux-based 
um, OS if you're going to be developing Rails apps. Now, now that we have the tool belt, we can actually log in. So we do Heroku login. All right, so it looks like we logged in okay. Um, now you're going to want, you need some SSH keys to, to talk to the app, the, the remote app. So let's do Heroku keys colon add. And yes, we want one generated. All right, so that's all set. Um, now what we want to do is actually clone the app. Um, so we want to do Heroku git clone. Um, I'm sorry, git colon clone. Um, use the A tag. And now we need to do the, the name of the app. Obviously, yours will be different. Mine is template browser. Okay. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, I am. Okay, looks good. All right, um, so let's go into our home folder, and see what's going on here. You can see we have the template browser folder and we have all the, the correct files. Um, now what I wanna do is I wanna get the database as well. Uh, we're using, a P, I use PG admin to um, admin the tables and the database. So I'm gonna open that up. You know, we got to make sure we have the correct credentials and all that. And we can find that in the config folder and in the database YML file. And I actually changed the password. I, I actually hit it for this tutorial. Um, so what I'm going to do is just take this out of the view and put... Now let's just look at it first. Um, the app that I have on Heroku is using the PostgreSQL uh, adapter they are they actually offer it as an add-on so um, and we the host is local host and then we have the database name um, the, the user the password um, we actually have a separate test database but we are using the same development and production database because um, we use in Heroku so I'm gonna bring that out of the view and just change that to what it was One second. All right, so now what I need to do is create a new server here. And I'm just going to call it server one. And PSQL is very easy to install. Um, you can just apt get the package um, and install it. And obviously, you'll need to create a user. Um, and you don't even need to create a database. You just you need to create the user and the command line, and then you can actually use PG Admin to create the database. So that's what we're doing now. Now, this here, the admin and the password are the same that I have in that file that I just showed you. So OK. And now, if we go here, databases. I actually already had this created. I'm just going to drop it. And I'm going to recreate it. So we remember we have the temp browse database and the temp browse test database. So that's what we're going to create here. And the owner should be the one that was specified in that database conf configuration file. And that's all, really all we need. And create the test one now. All right, so now we have our database and our test database. So now what we need to do is pull it from Heroku. To do that, we have to install the um, taps gem in the SQL gem. So we just got to go back to a command line and go into our directory, our 
app directory. Now, what we want to do is gem install um, pg taps in SQL. All right, so let's do that. So after this, we should be able to actually pull the database into our, our new empty database. And once that's done, we'll have an exact um, copy of the Heroku app. Alright, so that's all set. Now we can actually try. Actually, first of all, let's rundle. Let's rundle. <laughs> let's run bundle install. This will just update all our gems. So now we can try Heroku DB Paul and cross our fingers. Oh, yeah, it's it this is a destructive action. Um, and what that means is just whatever we have in the database now will be overwritten and, and gone. So and we just have a, an empty database, so it's fine. So it just it's just act asking you to actually type right here you can see to proceed type template browser. All right, so it looks like it's connected and it's it's getting the schema. The indexes. All right, looks good. All right, so that looks like it was successful. Now we can just go over here to our PG admin, and if we click on schema, public, tables, you can see there's five tables. So everything looks good. Now all we need to do is um, run our server, our local server, with Rails S. All right, so that looks good. Now, if we go to now, this is our remote app. So let's get out of that and let's go to our local local host port three thousand. And everything looks good. Um, you can see this general is one of our categories that we have in the database. So that's how you would get an app from Heroku, pull it, and pull a database. And now all you would have to do. Um, just start a new terminal. All you would have to do whoop. now if you wanted to push back to Heroku, say you did some changes, uh, you would just add it and commit. And then you would just do git push Heroku master. And it says everything up to date, but if you had made changes, that would update as well. And as far as the database, you would do all your local work 
um, your local models and so forth and then you would run Heroku um, I think it's run rake DB migrate and this would actually um, do your migrations on the on the remote server as well so um, that's it for this tutorial I hope I helped some of you guys out and I'll be doing some more Rails tutorials probably on this same application um, so be sure to, to subscribe and check out those as well. Thanks.